Right, tonight's delight is um, a pod from Stephen Dixon, um, the guy over at Hot Pods. He sent me quite a few. Um, there's a few of them from him I'm not going to do because I've already done them previously. Um, and I've had bad experiences from them. So the Hurtbury I'm not going to do um, unless I get to it and it's still alright. Because uh, I've done it three times and every time I've done it, it's not ended well. Um, but when it comes to it, if I've got no pods left and it's still fine, then yeah, I'll do it. If not, I'll just save the seeds. Same with the Borg 9. Um, but like I say, I've done them before. I know what they are. Um, at the minute, I've got that many pods. Uh, people keep sending me, which is good. Um, so I'm going to do what I can. And I'm going to do ones that I haven't done before. The ones from Sven, I want to try and get them all done. Um, I've got another... Uh, three of his to do. Dennis has just sent me some, so most of them will get done. Ben has done, sent me some. Um, there's two that I need to do from him. So it's going to be pretty much one or two pods a day at the minute, and then I should get them all done. Um, but like I say, I'll do what I can. I've still got some of my own to do. Um, but yeah, I'll get, I'll get done when I can. Um, like I say, if I've got to do two, three a day, I will do. I'll even take them to work and do them with a break at work. So this is one of Stevens. This is his Congo Peach. To be honest, I don't know much about this. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a lighter one out of the, out of the box he sent me. I've also got sauce from them to do, which I will do at the end of the season when there's no pods left, but I will do it. Um, I've also still got a sauce from Rich Ingham from last year and some pickles from Irina from last year which I'll do at the end once the, once the pot have dried up. So they will be done, don't worry. Like I say, like this one is Congo Peach. Quite a thick pod, it smells quite sweet. Um, Loads of seeds in it, and I'll save a few. Like I said, I've never grown this one, don't know much about it. But I was going to do another Sven's um, tonight, but I had a bit of cramps early hours this morning, so I thought no, I'll give, give them a rest for tonight. I'll do it tomorrow, it's, you know, it's a horrible feeling. And like half three this morning, I just doubled up in bed. Um, didn't make me sick or anything, just really bad stomach cramps, which if you've had them, you know what I mean. Flying over there somewhere, dog will probably find that one. I'll pick the dog crap up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right, this is about good 20 or so seeds in there, still loads centre. I don't know if this camera's going to be any good or not on my iPad at the minute, my phone battery's dead, so if it's a ship video, that's why. It, it looks looks a good one. So let's see, Congo Peach. Pop. Slightly floral, not too bad. Once you swallow the heat build. It's not massive heat. The 
right in the middle middle of the mouth at the minute. Mouth's drooling a bit. It smells a lot sweeter than, than what it tastes. I thought it would be a really, really sweet pop, but it's not. It is nice, but it's building now and it's moving uh, towards the tip of my tongue, but it's not quite at the tip. It's like in between the middle and the front of your tongue. It's getting close towards the front of the tongue, which is a horrible pain. It's hot, but it's not unbearable yet. I'm not reaching for the old uh, Stella. Um, it's shy, yeah, but I don't want to use my fingers, it's going to fucking kill me out. Uh, not worse than chilli oil in your eye or on your dick when you're for a piss but it's a different thing yeah that's hot I say that's hotter than the one I had last night but it's just a different burn a different part to your mouth it, it's weird like the back of your throat it's absolutely killer it just crucifies you the middle of your mouth it's fine it's bearable Tip your tongue is fucking nightmare. There's nothing you can do, it's absolute agony. This one's like not quite at the front, not quite in the middle, it's like in between. You know, it's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, it's not getting any hotter. So it's not a good pod. So that's Stephen Dixon's um, Congo Peach, like I say. Tomorrow I'll either do one of Ben's, one of Dennis's, one of Sven's or another of Stephen's. So we'll see what time I get in from work and what I've eaten. Alright, cheers, bye.